Welcome to Pre-Math. In this video tutorial, we have got these three squares of different sizes along with these given dimensions as you can see in this figure. And now we are going to find the sum of all these three green squares. So let's get started with the solution. And here's the very first step. Let's go ahead and label the dimensions of these squares. I'm going to label this medium square as an A, the side length A, and for this large one, the side length B, and for this small square, I'm going to put C as the side length. And since we are dealing with the squares, so all these sides going to have A for this medium square, A on each side, and for this large square is going to be a B side length of each side over here. And finally, for this small square, each side is going to be C, as you can see over here. And now let's look at these side lengths A and then side length B and C. If we add these things up, that's going to be equal to 25. So therefore, A plus B plus C equal to 25. Now let's focus on this red highlighted line over here. As you can see over here, this consists of this segment A from this point to, to this point is A, length A. And from this point to this point, the length is B. And from this point to this point, the length is C. So the total, this red length turns out to be this A plus this B and then plus C. Let me just go ahead and write it down. A plus B plus C. But we know that A plus B plus C is 25. So that means this red length is going to be just 25. And now let's focus on this blue highlighted line on this side. This is 3 units and this one is 8. So 3 plus 8 is going to give us 11 units. So thus the length of this blue line is going to be 11. Let me just write it down over here, 11. So thus the total length of all these three sides of this large square is going to be 11 plus 25. If we add them, that is going to give us 36. So once again, these three sides, this side and this side and this side, three sides give us 36. And we know really well that each side length of this large square is B. This is B and this is B. So the total length of these three sides is going to be a B plus B plus B makes 3B. So that means this 3B equals to 36. Let's divide both sides by 3 to isolate B. So B turns out to be 12. So the value of B is 12. So once we figure out B side length is 12, we can easily figure out this side length that's going to be 12 minus 3 is going to be 9. So A is going to be 9. Likewise, this side length is B equals to 12. And if we take away this one, so this side length is going to be 12 minus 8 is going to be 4, which is equal to C. So thus our side length A turns out to be 9, side length B is 12, and side length C is 4. And here's our final step. Let's recall the area of a square formula A equal to S square, where S represents the side of a square. Let's apply this formula for each of these squares. In first one over here, in this medium one, so the area of this one is going to be 9 square means area turns out to be 9 square is 81 square units. And now let's move on to this large square. 
So once again, we're going to apply this formula. So area is going to be 12 square. So that means area is going to be a 144 square units. And finally, for this small square, that's going to be area is going to be 4 square means area is going to be 16 square units. So that's the total green area turns out to be, if we add all these individual numbers, it turns out to be a 241. So that's our answer turns out to be a 241 square units. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.